Hey everyone, Rick Nielsen here, thewebtrainer.com. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, and if you're not, you're going to be doing well after this video training because I got some great information for you today that I have discovered after doing some experiments last night and found out the results this morning. It's just going to blow you away. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, this is I'm going to try to tackle two things here at the same time um, because they're both very very much related to each other. Uh, I'm going to be answering and trying to answer an email from uh, one of my loyal followers about YouTube and embedding YouTube within your website and also how to take and do that same technique and how to increase your rankings not only inside of YouTube but inside of Google because I tried this technique and you'll be blown away by the results that I told you that I will tell you about here in the video. So we're going to tackle two things. First, let's answer the question that this gentleman had um, about uh, YouTube and embedding the video within the site. So he had a few things he asked, and then uh, he was saying, I'm wondering about the coexistence of the YouTube video and the blog video. Does this create duplicate content, which is a great question. And if you've done much SEO investigation, looked around, you know, and see, you know, read, read articles, you'll know that Google is not a huge fan of what they consider duplicate content. And what duplicate content essentially means is that somebody's taken one article and they've posted that everywhere. And that's at, you know, 40, 50 different places online. They got some anchor text links pointing back to their blog trying to increase their ranking. And Google's not a big fan of duplicate content because, in a sense, they say it's, you know, it's, it's a poor experience for people, which I totally get. How many times you can post that article and what it is is, is a debatable point because I've seen people post it, you know, a dozen times and it's, they've gotten penalized for it. I've seen people do it 50 times and not get penalized for it. So I'm not really sure how they determine that. And the one thing you got to understand about SEO and using Google is this. You try to do the best that you can because it's a science and Google's constantly moving the goalpost. So every time you try something, it may work for a week, two, three, four, maybe works for six months, but then six months they may make a change and everything you've done is gone. So you just have to become at least aware enough that the things you try and do and experiment with are just that most of the time experiments. But there are some basic block and tackle things about SEO that you really need to know. So to answer uh, Doug's question on the coexistence of a video on your blog, uh, the answer to that would be no, because Google looks at video a lot different than they look at textual content. Video is encouraged to be spread around the internet. That's why they have the embed code available to everybody, because Google and YouTube want people to take those videos and put them on other websites and encourage the sharing. Um, and if you probably don't understand, if you probably don't realize it, you will now that video is a lot harder to come by than what um, textual context is. You can go out there and find all these articles that somebody's already written, copy and paste, and put them on, on your blog, and you're ready to roll. Uh, video is a little bit harder to do because you got to produce the video uh, and put it out there. Not to say that it's not I mean, it's not hard to come by, but most of the videos that are online are created by someone, and it takes a lot. It's a lot longer process. So, video is a lot stronger in terms of how Google looks at the quality of the content. So, one thing you should always do if you're going to increase your not just your SEO but your YouTube SEO because you want to also SEO for YouTube is if you write a blog post, do the best you can to create a video that goes along with it and embed that video within the blog post you're going to win every single time. Okay, it will never hurt you. It always it just enhances it because one of the things Google looks for is, hey, does this blog post have a video embedded on it? If it does, that help that can help your score. At least that's what we've been told and that's what I'm starting and that's what I'm seeing is that it can increase your score in terms of how you get ranked. Okay, so that's one particular thing. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of techniques that Anytime you do a YouTube video that you should always, 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 always do, okay? And this this can increase not only traffic, but this can increase SEO. So um, I'll give you an example. This is the key word that I was trying to get found for in this example. How to autoplay your YouTube videos. Now that was something, and I posted this back in 2010, late 2010, so it's been up for about a year and a half. And this was something uh, I had been asked about quite a few times so I thought and that's what I use. I usually do my videos based on how many times somebody asks a question so how to autoplay your YouTube videos so I posted this had a lot of traffic and I went in and I checked my rank on this um, yesterday 
and on Google most of the time I'm somewhere around 9 or 10 so I'm getting found somewhere a 9 or 10 on my blog itself so I did that a year and a half ago but then what had happened was that Google went and changed their layout for YouTube they had redone it and so they had made the layout different so I was getting a lot of people going hey wait a second I can't find that how, how do I auto play my YouTube video so I went and created a new one on and it has the exact same keyword how to autoplay YouTube's video in new layout because that's the keyword I was trying to get found for so what I did was I went to YouTube and I created a new video for it now I'm gonna go over to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna show you a, a technique that you should use every time you post a video on YouTube now this doesn't help SEO but this does help drive traffic to your website and obviously the more traffic that you have at your website the better you'll be able to rank so let's take a look here the first thing you want to make sure that you do is use your keyword in your description that is absolutely vital make sure and try to get it as exact as possible okay that's one that's great for getting found this next technique is what you want to do is you want to try to make sure you had the keyword within the first sentence of your description try to make sure that you have it in there that helps with SEO as well and then make sure that in your tags down here you have you know like here is autoplay video YouTube so put some tags in there that describe your video now that helps with SEO it not only helps with SEO on YouTube it also helps with SEO for your website and I'll tell you why in a minute this technique however is one for driving traffic to your website from YouTube okay because YouTube in and of itself is its own search engine it's the second most visited and used search engine online so when somebody comes to your video and they find it they see what you're doing they may like it so one thing you want to do is right here the very first thing in the description is put the URL to the website or the blog post you want to drive that traffic to okay let me repeat that because this is something that's really really overlooked this link here that I've got takes them directly to the blog post right here how to autoplay YouTube's video in the new layout it takes them directly to the blog post itself you don't necessarily want to take them to the main page of your website and here's why because here's how to autoplay your YouTube videos in the new layout and that's what the title of this is now I don't know as if that has a whole ton to do with SEO because this link here is what's considered no follow so Google's not gonna give your score any credit because of that link but what it does do is it gets people over to your site now that's that's great and awesome and you should do that in every single video but here's the thing I found that um, uh, made the biggest change for me I watched a video online uh, somebody that I follow his name's Jeff Johnson he's one of the big affiliate marketers online and he had a little technique that he showed he said it made a huge difference for him and as usual I hear him and I was like yeah that could be bullshit I don't know I'll, I'll try it myself to see if it works so what he said to do was inside of your blog post somewhere and I just put it at the bottom I just put out put uh, put this sentence in check out my how to autoplay YouTube videos on my YouTube channel along with all my other free video training so what I did was I took the keyword which is an anchor text because anchor text is this is the word I'm trying to get found for and then I'm linking it directly back over to the YouTube video that I created hey, whoops we don't want to do that so what that's doing is is Google's going to that particular blog post here and they're saying hey they've got pictures they've got a great title of the keyword I've got the keyword phrase kinda spread a little bit out through this I have an embedded video and I've also got some images on here and then when they get to the bottom they see hey there's some anchor text that's linking back to YouTube and Google looks at it and goes hey I like the fact they have embedded video they have some uh, pictures and they have an anchor link text that is that is a follow link so this is a follow link linking back to YouTube what they're doing is I don't know how they're doing it this is where I don't know and don't understand this but they are taking that and they're considering all those options in how you're ranking now I not only did it for my current video that I did but I also went over to my old one and I dropped that same exact phrase 
where's it at? Right here, into the old one. Okay, so I just did it both, and this takes them directly to my old video that I did about a year and a half ago. Those are the only two things that I did. Okay, I did those 24 hours ago. 24 hours ago, what I had found was this particular blog post that I have, how to autoplay your YouTube videos, which I did a year and a half ago, was ranking somewhere around 9 and 10. Most of the time it was 10. The blog post I did here is how to autoplay your YouTube videos in the new layout, which I did a couple of weeks ago. I got to page 6 in checking to see where it was at, and it wasn't anywhere to be found. After I put these links in, after I went in and did this link, and did it on the other one, and that's it. That's all that I did. I came back this morning, went to a computer that I never check, you know, that I use very rarely, because um, you know sometimes if you use your browser a lot, Google understands your patterns, what you're looking for, so rankings can seem a little off. So I just went to a, a computer, never searched this term before, put in the term hot autoplay videos in YouTube, and my old blog post went from 10 to 7, and the new blog post I, I did, which I couldn't find even on page 6, <clears throat> excuse me, had jumped to number 15. And that's in a 24-hour period. So my guess would be, and and I know the first old video that I've got, that's always hung around number 10. That hasn't moved a whole lot in the last eight months. That's pretty much where it's been hanging. But this this one here, it's been out for a couple weeks. I know it's been spidered by Google. Just wasn't ranking. Just by putting those links in, pointing back to the videos on YouTube, increased the rankings that much, that dramatically in that short a period of time. So my guess is, is that must have something to do with it. So my suggestion would be is if you create a blog post, make sure you put your anchor text somewhere in there and link back to the video on your YouTube site, not to the channel, but directly to the video that you're talking about. My next experiment, what I'm going to do now, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to create a WordPress.com site that um, is going to be related to how to autoplay your YouTube videos. I'm going to create a hub page, web page, and a squidoo lens, and maybe a blogger.com um, blog post. Embed that video in all four of them, put some text in it, and use this anchor link to go back to the YouTube channel and see if that changes my rankings at all. So that'll probably take a week or two by the time that gets all set up and everything. So I'm going to try that because my guess would be that's going to help increase it too because though there's four more sites that have four more anchor links and have four more videos out there pointing back to the site. So that's just one of the things that uh, it, it seems to work and it worked within a 24 hour period here so let's see what happens in another week or two um, I hope that helps guys if you guys got any questions just go ahead and put in a comment or question or something like that and I'll try to answer it for you um, so I'm going to go ahead and experiment set up all these other sites and then in a couple weeks I'll come back and let you know what I find out but I hope that answered my followers email and I hope that uh, helped with a little bit of YouTube SEO for you guys so until we meet again rock on